The FDA is now expanding recalls on several baby formulas following at least five babies getting sick and possibly two deaths. Local 12's Courtney Wheaton talked to some local mothers about the recalled formulas, which involves some really popular brands, right, Courtney? Yeah, Kyle, many moms I spoke with say thankfully they breastfeed, but for those who don't or can't, this is vital information that they weren't aware of. That formula is among the four now recalled types of powder baby formula, all made by Abbott Labs in its Sturgis, Michigan. That one looks familiar. Yeah, at least that one. Holly Harper hadn't heard about the four powdered baby formulas involved in a now expanded recall. We make decisions with the information we have at the time. So, you know, what formula I used is what my doctor gave me. So, uh. I mean, I mean, it's still scary, though. The mom used formula for her first child, but is going to try to breastfeed this time around. Hopefully, uh, I, I won't need the formula to supplement, but I'll definitely have a, something in, uh, uh, in mind that I would use. Just like kind of the back maybe, of your head, like, maybe, maybe we go for percent. something organic. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll do a little more research first. It was unreal. But for some families, it was too late. Earlier this year, Natalie Caselli and Tyler Rowland's baby Hayes got sick with a fever and the parents found blood in his diaper. You could hear it, like the formula going through and it just going straight through his stomach. A doctor diagnosed him with salmonella. His parents took a photo of the Similac he used, one of the four now recalled formulas made by Abbott Labs. I just was like, how does that happen? And according to a CBS investigation in September, an FDA inspection of the Abbott Labs Sturgis plant in Michigan ended with five citations and other problems. I don't even want to start crying, but there's two babies that have died. That's really sad. And according to the FDA, all of the recalled formula was produced at Abbott's facility in Michigan. According to Abbott's website, the death of one of the babies is under investigation. The company extended heartfelt sympathies to the family. Kyle. All right, Courtney, thank you so much. Now, the FDA has not said exactly when its test of the plant in Sturgis came back positive for that bacteria. We're going to have all the details on how the on how you can identify those impacted brands and how you can return the products for you at local12.com.